What's up everybody, Adrian here, back with another video. And this time I'm gonna give you one of my writing tips. It's called thinking time versus writing time. If you like my channel, then please like and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions about writing that you would like me to answer, then please ask them in the comments below, or you can tweet me. Or if you have a longer, more detailed question, then you can also email me, and I will do my best to help you become a better writer. Now, when it comes to Hollywood, time is money, and movie studios want you to pump out as many screenplays as quickly as as you can now by doing that they're more about quantity than quality so this tip is more like a formula it's a two to one formula so the thinking time is the preparation you make for the story the amount of brainstorming character development scene setup all that and then the writing time is the second your pencil touches the paper or your fingers touch the keyboard and you start writing all the way until you finish the first draft now, if you're one of those people who can just sit down and the second you start typing, you can write a masterpiece and you don't need any preparation, then this video ain't for you. In fact, I wish I was you, but I'm not. So I try to use this tip. So your thinking time or preparation should be twice as much as the writing time that it takes you to start and finish writing. The longer you spend thinking and preparing, the faster it will take you to write the movie or story. For example, if you take six months to prepare everything and set up all the characters and the scenes and break down every single character and their background, then it should take you three months to sit down and write it. At least that's what I noticed works for me. It's like a test. The more you study, the better prepared you are for when you sit down to take the actual test. And also remember this, when you first sit down to write something, all you have is a blank page. So you're starting from nothing. You're trying to get something from nothing, just a blank page. But once you complete your first draft and then you go back to write your second draft and edit everything, you'll be starting from somewhere. It will be much easier to write from that point because you'll be writing something from something. You actually have something written on the paper. Now I understand if you have a deadline that you're trying to reach and you don't have enough time to prepare and set everything up, then here's what I suggest you do. The limited time that you do have to prepare, think of the most important important characters, the most important scenes or plot points and focus on those and the rest will come and they will sort themselves out once you actually sit down and start writing. But the most important points, you already have a rough idea of how to start writing. So when you get to the other points that you haven't quite thought of, they will work themselves out. So let me know in the comments if this tip worked out for you. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you next video.